Hey, what's up, naughty community? Welcome back to My Naughty Hobby with Amber for another easy to follow crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this uh, new hat pattern that you've probably seen all over my page. I still don't have a name for it, but that's not going to stop me from creating an easy to follow tut tutorial for you guys today. So we've got a few different textures going on here. If you want to follow along exactly with my dimensions, I'm going to be using a size 5.5 or I millimeter hook, a wide eye sewing needle for weaving in my ends. You'll need a pair of scissors, which I've got here and some number four worsted weight yarn. This specific hat is done in Yarn B Secret Soft, and I'll also be using some Yarn B Secret Soft today. There's a variety of colors to choose from. Let's go ahead and get started. So to create this, we're going to start with a magic ring. Insert your hook here. We're going to do a chain two. And then into the center of our ring, we will place 12 double crochets. So we want a total of 12. I believe there's six so far, two, four, five. I've got five. I'll meet you back around to the beginning. Okay, when you've got your 12 stitches done, you're gonna find your tail and close up that hole join to the top of your first stitch made with a slip stitch you'll chain two and now we're going to do two double crochets into each of our stitches around So an increase in every stitch. I'll meet you back around to our join. All right, after you've done an increase in each of your stitches, we're going to slip stitch to the to the top of our first stitch that we created. We're going to continue increasing the size of our hat. So again, we're going to chain two. This time we will double crochet into our first stitch. And then do an increase into the next which means two double crochets in the same stitch. So one double crochet, and then two for an increase. And you'll follow that pattern all the way around, and I'll meet you back at the join. Okay, coming up to the end, of round three here. Again, we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch we made. Chain up two. We're going to continue to increase. So we're going to double crochet into our first 
two stitches. And then an increase in the next. Which means two into the same stitch. So again, we'll do two double crochets and then an increase. And you'll follow that pattern all the way around and I'll meet you at the join. Okay, at the end of round four, just like our previous rounds, we will slip stitch to our first stitch made, chain two, and we will uh, work our final increase round, which is double crochet into your first three stitches. and then two double crochet into the next. Increase. You're going to follow that pattern all the way around and I'll meet you at our next join. Okay, just completing the fifth round in the final increase round, we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of our first stitch made and now you're going to chain one. We're just going to do a half double crochet into each of our stitches all the way around. Going through both of those top loops. So half double crochet all the, all the way around and I'll meet you at our join. Okay, at the end of row or round six, again, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first stitch made. Go ahead and chain one. Now to make it a little bit easier, I like to flip my work kind of inside out because we're going to be using the third loops, which are these that you see here. See it from a different angle, this would be the top or if I say to go through both. So bring it to the back and we're going to be doing a half double crochet through the third loops only. We're going to do that in each, each of our stitches around. So I'll meet you back around at the join. Okay, coming to the end of round seven here, putting in my final stitches, slip stitching to the first stitch we made, chain up one. We're going to do another round of exactly what we just did. So we're going to be using those third loops. and creating a half double crochet into each of the stitches around. So I will meet you back at the join. Okay, at the end of round eight, again, slip stitching to our first stitch made chaining one. We're going to do another round of those 
half double crochets through our third loop. Again, it might be a little easier for you to see where to place your stitches. You can see them very easily here now. One into each stitch around a half double crochet. By using that third loop, you'll see these ridges really start to pop out. And I will meet you back around at the join. All right, finishing up row around nine, slip stitch to our first stitch made. Pulling up some extra yarn there. Chain one. Now we're still going to be using the third loop, but this time we are going to work a single crochet into the third loop instead of a half double crochet. So you'll just insert your hook, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. We're going to do that into each of the third loop around because we still want to create the ridge. should have four lines of ridges, so single crochet. And I will meet you guys back at the join. Coming along to the finish of round 10. Let's slip stitch to the first stitch made. Oops. Maybe. Now we're going to chain two. This is going to be our first round of the special puff stitches. So I chained two, and the way that we're going to work this specific stitch is you're going to yarn over, you're going to insert your hook into the very first stitch, and pull up a loop. Now I like to push my loops to the back of my hook, because we're going to yarn over again, and insert our hook into the same stitch, and drop another loop. You're going to yarn over, skip your next stitch, Insert into the next and drop a loop. There's our skip stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch again and drop a loop. At this point, I believe you should have nine on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So once you have nine on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all. So that creates your first stitch. Then you're going to yarn over and chain one. That creates your second stitch. So what you're going to do is yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch that we just finished working in. So right here, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook again, pull up a loop, yarn over, skip your next stitch, insert into the next, and drop a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch again, pull up another loop, again you should have nine on your hook, yarn over and pull through all of the loops yarn over and chain one there. So we're going to continue this all the way around. I'm going to work a couple of these stitches before letting you work around to where I'll pause the camera so we can get caught up and meet at the join.
okay? And I will meet you at the join. Okay, when you've come to the end of the round, the way that you will do your last cluster puff stitch or V stitch is yarn over. Again, we're going into that same stitch we just completed. And now instead of working here, we're still going to skip that stitch, yarn over and insert your hook where we first initially started our stitches. And you'll drop a loop, yarn over, insert your hook again and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through all nine stitches with a chain one. And again, we will slip stitch to the top of our first stitch made. And let's chain up two. Now we're going to do another round of these puff V stitches. Only instead of going into the actual stitches, we're going to be working into the spaces between. So yarn over, insert your hook, and drop a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook again, and drop a loop. Yarn over, skip the eye of that stitch, and go into the space here. Pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, drop another loop. Again, you should have nine on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all nine. Secure with a chain one. And that's how it should be looking. So I'll work a couple of these before I let you add it and we join back up for the actual join. And I'll meet you back around at the join. Okay, to finish up round 12, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the seam space we just got done working into. Yarn over, insert, pull up another loop. Yarn over. Again, we're going to insert where we inserted the very first stitch of this round. Pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook again, pull up another loop, should have nine on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all nine. A chain one. And we're going to go ahead and do that slip stitch to our first stitch created. For round 13, you will chain one. And then we're just going to do a half double crochet into each of our stitches going through those top, I would say, standard stitches. Just one half double crochet and two each. double crochet all the way around. We'll meet you at the join. Okay, at the end of round 13, join with a slip stitch to our first stitch made. And on round 
14, you will chain one. We're gonna be repeating round 10, which was those single crochets into the third loop. So again, turn your work over and find that third loop. And we're going to do a single crochet into each of those around. So I will meet you at the join. All right, when you've reached the end, we will slip stitch to our first stitch made. Chain two. We're gonna be repeating rounds 11 and 12 where we did these puff stitches. So again, that's chain two, yarning over, insert your hook into your first stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch again, drop a loop. We're gonna skip our next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next. See your skipped one there, yarn over, insert your hook again, pull up a loop, should have nine on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all nine, securing with a chain one. and I'll meet you back at the join. Okay, coming to the end of round 15, the last stitches. One, two, I want to make sure I'm going into the right one. Slip stitch. Chain up two. We're going to repeat round 12, which was worked just like this, except for we're going to be working into these spaces. So after you chain two, you'll yarn over, insert your hook into the first space, drop a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, drop another loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next space, drop a loop, yarn over, insert your hook and drop another loop. That'll put nine on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Chain one. Again, we're going to follow this all the way around. I'm going to pause the video and meet you back at the join for our next round. Okay, to finish up round 16.
joining with our slip stitch. We're gonna do that chain one. So for round 17, we're just going to repeat round six again, which is a half double crochet into each of our stitches. So we'll meet you at the join. Okay, to finish up round 17, slip stitch, chain one, and for round 18, we're going to repeat round 11, which was just a single crochet into the third loop all the way around. Work a couple of these. If it helps you to turn your work inside out, you might be able to see those third loops a little bit better. And I'll meet you back around. Okay, finishing up round 18 single crochets into the third loop always joining with a slip stitch now we're going to be working those puff stitches again so we're going to be repeating round 11 for the final time so you'll chain up two yarn over insert your hook into the first stitch yarn over insert your hook into that same stitch and pull up loop yarn over skip the next stitch inserting your hook into the next drop a loop yarn over insert your hook into that same stitch and drop another loop yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook securing with a chain we're gonna do that all the way around always starting your stitch in the stitch you just completed. Skipping, working into the next. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, completing round 18. I'm going to do a final round of the puff V stitches. So we're, we are repeating round number 12, which is chain two, yarn over, insert your hook into the first space there, drop a loop, yarn over, insert your hook again. So you should have five on your hook. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, go into the next space. Pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, you should have nine on your hook, yarn over and pull through all nine, and then chain one.
we're just going to work this same pattern all the way around. Alright, coming up to the end of round 19. And for row 20, round 20, not row, round, you're just going to chain one and half double crochet into each of our stitches around. So you'll just continue all the way around. I'll meet you back at the join. Okay, finishing up round 20. Rounds 21, 22, and 23 are all going to be worked the same. So I'm going to work those up and then meet you for our final round. But what we will do for the next three rounds is chain one, yarn over, and then we're going to work half double crochets into the third loop. I'll show you guys again one of my little hacks for accessing so these would be considered the top loops. We're working through the third loop. And we will be doing that for the next three rounds. So I will see you at the join of round, at the end of uh, round 23. Okay, coming up to the end of our round 23 with our half double crochets into the third loop. Just so you know, at the very end of this video, I will be showing you finishing technique of how to um, weave in your ends and also add a fur palm hat to your work if you'd like. So we're slip stitching and for our final round, you're going to chain two. This is round 24. And working into the third loops, we're just going to do a double crochet into each of our stitches. Again, that third loops right there on the back side of your work. I still have my hat flipped inside out to make it easier to grab those stitches. I'm going to finish uh, double crocheting all the way around and once I get back to the other side I will show you my uh, finishing techniques and how to add a fur palm. Okay we're at the end of our final round, round 24. Just like all of our other rounds, we're going to slip stitch. Now you can go ahead and cut your yarn. I like to weave a three or four inch long tail so I can sew my ends in. Just draw that through. I actually have the wrong side already facing me. Kind of looks cool, the wrong side though with this pattern and my tail at the top. So we will go ahead and start with our tail. You may want to, if you're gonna also be attaching a palm, you're going to need a button and your fur palm. Let's go ahead and weave in our first end. 
my kind of rule of thumb that I use is um, let's get this other let's get this yarn out of the way. Is we are going to bring it back through and down a little bit. I don't ever pull too tight because I don't want my stitches to bunch up. And now I'm going to just weave in and out of the stitches. A total of three times never pulling hard when I draw my yarn through one more time okay And you want to make sure that the button that you chose, that your needle will fit through the center of it. So now we'll, we will go to our start spot. And I like to cinch it closed nice and good. Okay. Then grab your button. Bring it up one side and then also down the next. Now here I'm just going to pull it tight again. And I try to go straight across from where it's coming out. So right here is where I want to attach the button. Pull my tail through just a little bit more. Now I'm trying to get into this hole here. So if it's easier, you can flip your hat around. But for me, as long as it's centered over the start spot, I'm just going to feel around. Pulling tight again to make sure it's on there good and firm. And I'm just going to bring my yarn up through pretty much anywhere. And now I will weave in that end. You could pull it tight again. That'll keep your, your palm from being kind of wiggly. It'll hold it down just a little bit better. I'm trying to go through my stitches. That's what prevents your ends from coming back out. Okay. And your button's secured on there. Clip it. We can flip our hat around the right way. Here's my hat. Here's the palm I'm going to add. Um, something else I want to talk to you guys about is you want to fluff up your palm before you attach it. Like this is cute, but you need to use a hair dryer. So I am going, I've got a hair dryer right over here. I'm going to fluff it up real quick and then uh, we will attach it to the hat. Okay, so I fluffed it up. As you can see, it's way floofier when you use the hair dryer. Now to attach it, all you're going to do is bring your hook here, grab a hold of the little elastic band that should be on there. I'm holding on with my hook here. Then you're just going to secure that around the button you attached. And voila! got a fur palm hat. As usual, I'll flip the camera around just real quick 
so you can see how how it fits on an adult. Here we go. Hopefully you can still see. There it is. Before I post this, I'm sure I'll have a name for it. Thanks for everybody who followed along. If you made this hat, I would love to see your take on it and the colors that you used. Thanks for watching today and happy hooking, you guys. Take care. See you later.